Oli Oliton joined SAS, who dares wins in 2015 as one of the directing staff. The military man was responsible for helping to create the Channel 4 show's notoriously tough content which relates to the special forces selections and operations, he has seen many candidates go through the process which is made to be as close to the real selection process as possible. Ahead of the launch of SAS, Mission Evade, a real-life experience designed to simulate the show, Express.co.uk caught up with Oli to reminisce on some of his memories of the Channel 4 Challenge, the former SAS soldier opened up on how the show brings back fond memories of his time in the forces, when asked how Who Dares Wins differs to his real-life experience. He explained, there's no comparison apart from the fact we see individuals do amazing things they never thought possible. I see their transformation as a reminder of mine and that brings fond memories and confirmation of the human potential in us all. What's more, Oli opened up his shocking experiences on the show. He revealed how he almost drowned in season 3 following a candidate's panicking. On series 3, I was almost drowned by a candidate that mistook my commando of don't panic as get on me, you hear what you need to hear when you're in a state of sheer panic, fighting for your life. He opened up on what those who consider applying for the show in the future should know before they fill out the application form. Your mind will fail you before your body will. Resilience is key and being prepared to function with no sleep. Food a cuddles is tough and never practiced. Ollie is currently involved in SAS, Mission Evade which is a concept taken from the real Special Forces selection. The event is being run by Chillasource.com, who specialize in once-in-a-lifetime experiences, including events inside the Big Brother house, football games between fans and legends from top football clubs, real-life werewolf and zombie survival days, Crystal Maze events, the Bear Grills Survival Academy and Hunted, will once again deliver a unique experience that they promise will push participants physically, mentally, and emotionally to the limits. SAS, Mission Evade will take place on Saturday 28 July at a military base camp in Nutley, East Sussex. He explained, this is the final stage prior to being badged as a special forces operator and is a test of your decisive judgment and initiative under pressure. This event is fast-paced, fun and highly competitive. The event typifies everything I stand for, going that little bit further. When your mind tries to push you toward the easy path to failure, Ollie added, I designed this course which relates from real-life experiences, from the most highly regarded fighting force in the world. The event will be spread across 1,000 acres at a military base camp and those wishing to participate need not have any previous training, Ollie and his team. We'll take 100 lucky candidates on a 24-hour mission which will echo that of a real-life SAS recruitment process. Those who wish to apply for SAS, Mission Evade and find out more information on the event can do so here.